brought to you by Kurtz Island Sports Shop in Monaco. Planning an outdoor winter adventure? You need the app from the weather team you can rely on, the WJFW Weather Watch app, featuring hourly and daily forecasts, high-resolution imagery, and opt-in push alerts to let you know when severe weather approaches. With all these features, you'll know the best days to be on the ice or when there will be fresh powder on the trails. The WJFW Weather Watch app is available in your app store now. Sponsored by Northwoods Furniture. Weather Watch 12, from where you live. On December 14th, it's Mistletoe Magic. Finish up your Christmas shopping with great deals from many of the shops in downtown Eagle River on December 14th. JJ's House of Dogs is open through the winter, Monday through Saturday. Stop in for a Chicago-style dog, Italian beef, Polish sausage, or take-and-bake pizza. Enjoy our toasty indoor counter, JJ's House of Dogs on Wall Street in Eagle River. You're watching News Watch 12, news from where you live. Right now on Newswatch 12 today, it's that time of year when you dig out spare change and bills to drop them in one of the many red Salvation Army buckets all across the area. We'll have a live report on this year's campaign. Plus, we're seeing a few snow flurries and even some wind this morning, but we do have some chilly temperatures in the forecast of the latest coming up. Lyft is not safe, like at all, because of what happened to me. And the ride-sharing industry has changed the face of public transportation, but how safe is it? We'll have numbers from a new safety report. It's Friday, December 6th. Your local news and weather from where you live. News Watch 12 Today starts now. Good morning and thanks for starting your day with us. I'm Marissa Silvis. Well, outdoors, we're waking up to some pretty mild temperatures, but we do have changes on the way. For more on that, let's head right on over to our weather center and Devin Biggs in for Tyler Moore this morning. And Devin, you're telling me that we've already hit our highs for the day. Yes, we've already hit our highs for the day since midnight. We're in the upper 20s to low 30s across the region. We're going to keep falling from there as a the cold front's currently moving through the region. Here's a current look at the radar right now. We're not seeing much in the way some snow on the radar, but those snow flurries are flying around out there this morning. They will taper off later on as the clouds begin to move on out of here. Here's a current look at the radar and satellite put together, and we're seeing some of the clouds breaking up a little bit. We're still seeing partly the mostly cloudy skies across the region, and that will be the overall theme for the rest of the day. And here are those winds right now out of the northwest going southeast at 6 miles per hour, going to the south at Merrill in 15 mile per hour territory right now. 26 degrees in Rhinelander right now, 25 degrees in Tomahawk, 31 degrees in Wisconsin Rapids, and these temperatures will be dropping for part of the day. Here is that bus stop forecast this morning. Partly cloudy skies with 20 degree temperatures as we get the kiddos off to school. Only warming back up to 22 degrees but for the afternoon, so not very much warmer for that. We'll have more coming up in a little bit. Marissa? Definitely want that extra layer. Thanks so much, Devin. Well, the holiday season means spending time with friends and family, presents, and a whole lot of plenty of cheer. It also means that you'll see many red buckets and bells all around the area. The Salvation Army is collecting donations again this year, but they do need some help. News Watch 12's Angela Kim is out live at the Walmart in Rhinelander this morning. Good morning, Angela. What can you tell us? Oh, you're ringing. I hear it. <laughs> I'm ringing already, Marissa. Yeah, it's 5 a.m., but I'm already ready to ring. There's not a lot of people here really to get to go donations from, though. But yes, this is the best time of the year. It is the season of giving, and the Salvation Army, they really want to take advantage of that. They don't just want your donations, but they also want your time because they actually are short on volunteers in the area this year. So coming up, we're going to tell you how you can volunteer your time, but also tell you about some of the goals this year. So last year, Rhinelander, their goal was about $40,000, and they surpassed that. They got about $52,000 thousand dollars by Christmas Eve last year. So this year they are actually stretching their goal to $55,000. But over in Minocqua, they actually got less than $30,000. So this year their goal is staying the same as it was last year at $40,000. But of course, we can help Minocqua and Rhinelander get to their goals by coming out, ringing some bells, and having a good time. So we're going to have more on that later on how you can volunteer, sign up, and help out the Salvation Army. But for now, I'll toss it back to you. Live in Rhinelander, Angela Kim, Newswatch 12. A National Guard helicopter crashed yesterday in central Minnesota. All three crew members died. The Minnesota National Guard says the aircraft's three-member crew lost contact with air traffic controls at St. Cloud Regional Airport at about 2.05 p.m. 
The crew was conducting a maintenance test flight. About 2.15 this afternoon, we got a call that uh, a Black Hawk helicopter was given a mayday signal. Um, we spent several hours with multiple departments trying to get it and locate the, the scene. The helicopter, which was missing for about 90 minutes, was found tangled in trees on a farm in Kimball, located about 20 miles southwest of St. Cloud. Make-A-Wish and Macy's granted the dazzling dream of a six-year-old battling leukemia. Benjamin Thompson of Appleton wrote his letter to Santa asking for a synchronized Christmas light show. Ben's wish was seven, the 7,000th granted by Make-A-Wish in Wisconsin. Before the big reveal, Ben was whisked away to the Fox River Mall. There he saw a special glow-in-the-dark dance performance and also picked out some holiday decor. Ben and his family returned home to the cheering of friends, family, and neighbors. This wish was granted through Wish Wednesday, a partnership with Macy's. The Wisconsin DNR released a new Lake Michigan fish stocking plan. DNR fishery specialists spent 2019 researching and gathering public input. For 2020 through 2022, Chinook salmon stocking numbers will increase to 1.2 million fish annually. Coho stocking will go to 500,000. Brown trout and steelhead stocking will both increase to about 450,000 fish annually. The DNR will look into stocking brook trout in 2020. Snowmobile trails in Iron County opened for the season Thursday. The Hurley Chamber of Commerce said on its Facebook page that Iron County trails opened as of 8 o'clock yesterday morning. Some trail sections do remain closed and ice is not considered safe. They asked riders to respect landowners and stay on marked groomed trails. Trails are not yet open in other parts of north central Wisconsin. The ride hailing industry has changed the face of public transportation, but just how safe is it to regularly get into a stranger's vehicle? John Lawrence has our report. For some Americans, getting a lift from Uber is a daily occurrence. The ride sharing giant says more than 3 million Uber trips were taken daily in 2017 and 2018. On Thursday, the service released its 84 page safety report, which states there were 5,981 sexual assaults reported during that same two year span, including 464 reports of rape. They also reported 19 deaths caused by physical assault. Uber's data also says 99.9% percent of its rides happen without any sort of incident. Uber boosted its safety measures last year after a CNN investigation found at least 103 Uber drivers had been accused of sexually assaulting or abusing their passengers in the previous four years. They announced a partnership with a company that sends a rider's relevant information, including location, to local police agencies if a rider presses an emergency button included in Uber's app. Similar issues are swirling around Uber's main U.S. competitor. Lyft is not safe, like, at all, because of what happened to me. Cheyenne Gutierrez filed a lawsuit against Lyft Thursday. She claims in May her Lyft driver assaulted her. He grabbed my wrists and tried to force himself on me and kneed him in the stomach as hard as I could pushed him away. Lyft released a statement to KTLA saying the driver involved in the incident has been permanently banned. And in September, Lyft expanded its community safety program, which it says brings greater protection to its riders and drivers. I'm John Lawrence reporting. Now, these sorts of concerns are not just a domestic issue. China's largest ride hailing company has also received similar backlash over safety concerns, which includes the 2018 killings of two female passengers. Well, coming up next this morning in our international news, thousands of people in France marched in protest over the government's plan for retirement plans. We'll tell you how police responded. Plus, eight bodies were recovered after a house in Poland was destroyed in a gas explosion. We'll have those stories and more news from around the world in just two minutes. Indulge your senses this holiday season at Traders. Try in our unique clothing. Smell the scents of the season. Touch the softness in our new loungewear loft. See the fabulous Christmas tree displays. And taste our delicious wine. Only at Schrader's in Anigo. Hi, I'm Katie from Featherstone Cabinetry and Design. When I want the local forecast in Manaqua, I go to WJFW.com and check my hometown weather. Your hometown weather, available 24-7 at WJFW.com. 
Find your next car at Bruns and Sons Auto in Clover. With over 100 vehicles in stock, Bruns and Sons Auto has the biggest selection of used vehicles in Portage County. With a super friendly staff, most deals are done within an hour. Winter is here, so get your car ready for the cold at Bruns and Sons Auto, featuring a full service department with techs on hand to get you on the move. Visit Bruns and Sons Auto today. We would love to earn your business. This is the new Mix 96. Mix 96, the Northwood's new continuous hit music station, playing all of your favorite hits from 2K and today. Just like fire, up the way. Mix 96 plays a half hour of non-stop music every hour. I know I can see you Mix 96, better. no rap, no rock. Make the switch to the new Mix 96. An education can take you many places. It can take you to a world of new possibility, of new learning, experience, and achievement. An education can transcend culture and take you to where ideas come to life, where you learn how to nurture and care. Every education needs a beginning. Start yours here. Nicolay College works for you. That ski -Doo feeling presents unparalleled power so you can push the limits. Introducing the 2020 ski -Doo trail and crossover sleds. The ski -Doo sales event is on now. Visit your local dealer for details. See your local Northern Wisconsin and UP ski -Doo dealers. And welcome back. Nothing going on right now in parts of Eagle River. Currently right now, not much going on. There's some snow on the ground right now and everything so far, not too bad across the region. Your live radar right now, not too bad. A few flurries are flying around out there this morning. Otherwise, not much going on right now currently on the radar. Other than some clouds currently moving through the region. Also, we had a system that passed through uh, yesterday, bringing with it some snow flurries for the northern part of the viewing area. Saw a few, few little bits of snow. But that's pretty much about it. For us, it's mainly just the clouds, and those will thin on out throughout the day. It's going to get a little bit of the wider picture here. Here's that second cold front that's passing through, causing us to hit our highs at midnight this morning. That, that cold front's currently passing on through, and temperatures will drop off throughout the day. Here's another system that's currently passing on through, giving us some precipitation across the region. Then in parts of the Pacific Ocean, take a look at this. Our next system is going to be moving on shore soon. We're going to have some interesting weather moving in by the early part of next week. Here, and yes, this is a weird graphic. I'm not normally showing this at around 512 in the morning, but yes, our high temperature is already hit for the day in the upper 20s to low 30s across the region. So yeah, we, we're in temperatures will be dropping from there. We're already at 26 degrees in Rhineland or 23 degrees in Manitowish waters. 31 degrees right now in Wisconsin Rapids. And yes, that northwest to southeast wind is why we're seeing temperatures cooling off a little bit this morning. 50 mile per hour winds currently in Merrill. And things looking ahead for your gusts. So we do have some wind gusts also at around 21 miles per hour in parts of Wausau and Mosinee also. And your wind chills. There's a little bit of a wind chill in, in the air today, but it's not going to be all that bad. We'll be in the cold sector overall. So just going to have things handy today, but overall things shouldn't be that bad for now because here's where things take a big turn for the worst so to say this will be good for ice fishing though because as we get things going into next week look at this our big our coldest blast of the air so far this season will be moving on in this will be good to help firm up the ice so ice fishing can get underway soon get those snowmobile trails open also but this will be a quick wave of cold air as things will start to warm up a little bit by friday in the day on saturday but yeah be ready things are going to get a little chilly how chilly are we talking how do you like a goose egg in the forecast for Wednesday? Because that's all we're going to muster with only zero degrees on Wednesday and eight and six surrounding it on Tuesday and Thursday. But for now, we do have some nice temperatures in store, so we'll get to enjoy some warmer weather before the cold weather moves on in. This morning, though, temperatures will be steady. Overall, we'll be in the lower 20s and temperatures won't be half that bad. And for today, just a few clouds across the region won't be half that bad. We could see a quick wave of snow moving on in later on tonight, but that's going to be about it overall. 
Your forecast coming up for today, 23 degrees, partly cloudy skies and cooler with a northwest breeze at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, 11 degrees, mostly cloudy skies, a few snow flurries possible with a southwesterly breeze at 5 miles per hour. And here is a look at that Northwoods Furniture 7 day forecast. Again, today and tomorrow won't be that bad, close to 30 by Saturday. Then a slight chance of wintry mix on Sunday. Snow chances moving in on Monday. Marissa? Thanks so much, Devin. Time now for our top stories from overseas, and we begin this morning in France, where police in Paris fired tear gas at demonstrators on Thursday as thousands marched nationwide in a strike over the government's plan to overhaul the retirement system. At least 90 people were arrested in Paris by evening as the protests wound down. Police said 65,000 people took to the streets of the French capital and more than 800,000 nationwide in often tense demonstrations aimed at forcing President Emmanuel Macron to abandon pension reform. A rape victim in India is in critical condition after being set on fire as she was heading to the trial of the men accused of assaulting her. The 23-year-old has burns on 90% of her body. Authorities have arrested five people based on the woman's account. She told authorities two of the men accused of raping her, as well as their fathers, were involved in the attack. Rescuers have recovered eight bodies from the debris of a house destroyed by a gas explosion in southern Poland, and they continue to search in sub-freezing temperatures for any other potential victims. The explosion on Wednesday evening in the southern mountain resort of Schusterk led to a fire that was put out before the search operation began. Witnesses said the blast could be heard hundreds of yards away as it shattered window panes in neighboring houses. A gas leak was a suspected cause of the explosion, Prosecutors and police were on site and investigating. Well, it's now 5.15 and coming up this morning in our health news, a new study is linking vaping to mental health. We'll explain. Plus, another study says improving air quality can improve your health quickly. We'll have those stories and more medical news in just two minutes. Save this holiday season at Bob's Factory Outlet in Park Falls and Ashland. Save on sofas, prices as low as $3.99. Stretch out and rest on a Restonic two-sided comfort care mattress complete with free box spring starting at $6.99. Create a warm, cozy room with the best craft fireplace built into beautiful log furniture. Lane's Big Man's Chairs on sale for $7.49. Bob's Factory Outlet thanks you for your business this year and wishes you a safe and happy holiday season. Every empty seat at a concert, game, or special event is a missed opportunity to say thank you to America's heroes. Donate your extra tickets to VetTix. Give something to those who gave. Go to VetTix.org. Amazing deals are going on now during Menard's Christmas Catalog Sale. Add window treatments to rooms for privacy and light control. 24 by 48 two-inch faux wood room darkening cordless blinds are $21.99. Cordless shades in white or alabaster are $27.99. Plus, they can be trimmed to width for free. Sleep great with help from Serta. This queen-size Blue Ridge mattress with cool twist gel foam is $367. Plus, give the perfect gift this Christmas with a Menard's gift card. Boy, season's greetings to you all from Menard's. Welcome to Trackside, your place for Northwoods Power Sports. Hi, this is Grant here on the sales team at Trackside. Just wanted to let you guys know we've got a whole variety of units here that you guys could use for any job, any ride, any adventure. Get your new ride here at Trackside. Here at Trackside, we have snowmobiles for every rider. Whether it's trail, crossover, or mountain, we have you covered. We have a huge selection of snow gear here. Whether it's FXR, Climb, 509, Polaris, Skidoo, Fly, Divas, we have it all. Trapper's Fireplace Gallery, the Northwood's newest hearth showroom in Eagle River. View a large variety of fireplaces to fit your budget. Displaying over 20 gas, wood, and pellet stove units. The perfect combination of flames, illuminated LED embers, accent lighting, realistic logs, and anti-reflective glass. The Heat & Glow 6000 and 8000 gas fireplaces emulate a wood-burning fireplace. Let one of our professionals design and install your dream fireplace. Seeing some wind moving through this morning as a cold front moves on through. That caused our high temperatures to be hit at midnight. We'll have some cooler afternoon.